Come here, buddy. Come here. Good boy. This cute four-legged guy is called Spot. And with some luck, you might soon spot him in the wild. One, two, three, four. Boston Dynamics is probably the world's most famous robotics design company. Nearly every video showing their latest creations goes viral and either fascinates or terrifies people. Their latest video on YouTube, Humanoid Robot Atlas, shows off a gymnastics routine. I wish I was able to do that. Until now, their robots haven't been for sale. But with Spot, that will change. The company decided to make the robot available to select companies and developers who can lease Spot and test out if the robot is suitable for an intended task. So, when and how was Spot developed? What can Spot do? And will we soon see a lot of Spots? Let's have a look. Boston Dynamics was founded in 1992 as a subsidiary to the renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. The company first caught worldwide attention in 2005 with Big Dog, who is, in a way, Spot's father. The quadruped robot was designed for and funded by the US military. Big Dog was supposed to serve as a pack mule and accompany soldiers in terrain too rough for conventional vehicles. The robot was continually refined and even got an extra arm in the process. The project was discontinued in 2015, though. The reason? Even after years of development, its gas-powered engine was still far too noisy and therefore completely useless in combat situations. Our friend Spot was already being developed back then. And even though it's powered by electricity and much quieter than Big Dog, it wasn't fit for the job either, because it just couldn't carry enough weight. With funds from the US Army drying up, Boston Dynamics was first acquired by Google in 2013 and then sold to the Japanese company SoftBank. You might know them. They brought the world these guys. It's safe to say that Boston Dynamics are serious about making Spot available to developers. Why? Because they produced a promotional video for it. You can find the link in the video description. Here's a short summary of the specs featured in the clip. Spot can be used with a remote control, but moves autonomously too. It moves at a speed up to 5 km per hour, runs up to 90 minutes with one charge and has swappable batteries. It can navigate challenging terrain and avoid obstacles carries up to 14 kilograms and has rain and dust protection. Plus, it has a programmable interface and can carry up to four hardware modules on its back. This is what makes Spot interesting for all kinds of companies, because they can add whatever skills the robot needs for a particular job. If it's checking for gas leaks, you can build in a methane detector. But you could also use it to create 3D maps of indoor spaces. Since Spot is designed to work in the rain, it can be used in outdoor spaces too. It could also examine hard-to-reach areas after a disaster, for example. With its military background, Boston Dynamics doesn't have the best image. And videos like this one didn't really help with that. Spot in particular even inspired an episode of the dystopian series Black Mirror. Spot's fictional stand-in serves as a killer robot here. While Boston Dynamics robots are impressive when it comes to motion skills, they are not really very good when it comes to interacting with humans. For now, the company recommends a safety distance of at least 2 meters when working. So, it's very unlikely that it will work as a housekeeper anytime soon, for example. Apart from that, there's only a limited number of spots available for lease. You have to apply with a good concept. And pricing is high as well. So, the electronics shop around the corner might not showcase one in the near future. But we might see Spot in a not-so-obvious field. Entertainment. A while ago, Spot showed off its dancing skills in a video. And there are indeed plans to test the robot for stage appearances. Reportedly, Canadian entertainment company Cirque du Soleil is planning to experiment with Spot for future productions. What do you think about Spot? Fascinating technology or scary monsters? And what would you use him for? Let us know in the comments. And if you've got a digital topic that you'd like us to cover, let us know as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. One, two, three.